Welcome back to another Friday morning. This is what I've been doing today. <clears throat> uh, I gotta sit down and take a break because uh, I'm sweaty. I'll take you up uh, roadside and show you what I did up there as well. So in the event you uh, were ever questioning uh, whether or not the asking price that they ask for a uh, steel product is uh, worth it, uh, absolutely. Uh, I've had this saw going on nine years. I used it uh, commercially uh, in landscaping in Charleston, and now it's been running out here. I do have a, a newer, bigger saw, and this thing had spit the chain a while back, and uh, I let it sit out in the rain for like a month. Went to put it back together today, had water dripping out of it, and uh, got the chain back on it, started third pole. Anything with the steel name. Anyway, I did all this down the roadside, and then I have cleared that. I still got to cut a couple little trees here, but I cut all that down. Um, <laughs> oh, I still have all that to go, and all that up there. I'm leaving the big trees because uh, I'm experienced in falling trees, but uh, I don't see any reason to cut those trees down, and uh, I really don't want to have to cut that up. All right, so the more I clear, like this right here, you can step on that. It's been, as you can see, showed you from up there. I've been clearing this all out, out here. The more you clear, the more garbage. Like you can literally hear the, uh, eh, there's one of them damn bees that stung my ass. <sighs> was. It's like they just dumped their trash out here. Like the, I'm pulling soda cans out of here that had like, Pull tabs like this garbage has been here since the 70s at least but you know <laughs> all in a day's work I guess it's like they're always doing interesting things and it's like they know when I turn the camera on and then they stop doing interesting things. <laughs> well, I guess she's taking a dump. That's exciting. <clears throat> yeah, we're talking about you. Well, first off, I'd like to say to uh, thank the folks at uh, Tri-County Family Farms uh, because they gave us these animals. Uh, the baby goat is still a little ways off. Look who it is over in the distance. Yes, she has boots. Uh, it's going to take a minute to get these guys unloaded, but let me show you what we got here. And the baby goat's going to be... Uh, the beginning of next month. Well, this was not without its challenge. Uh, it took us almost an hour to get these pigs from the truck into this enclosure. It finally took hot dog buns, hamburger buns, excuse me, to get them in there. I'll 
sniffing around. So far, everybody seems to be getting along. They all came, well, the baby was three days old, so he ain't got no recollection of these pigs, but these all came from the same farm, the same yard, theoretically speaking. <clears throat> this guy right here, boy, oh boy, he about became bacon on the way back here. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll put those together and uh, get some baby pigs. Then the boy pig that doesn't listen very well has figured out some way to get out. He was out this morning and I couldn't get him back in there so I figured well whatever he was right here. He's not going nowhere and it's pretty far up to the road. And then I come home after going to get some barrels and some feed today and uh, he was back inside and then I fed him. And then he was walking down the walkway toward uh, my backyard. So uh, I walked out here and he's at least back out here. He's laying in the shade. I mean, if he don't go no further than this, okay. I need to figure out some way to keep him away from my garden uh, if he does get out. But, I mean, he's not hurting nothing. Like yesterday when he wouldn't come back or we couldn't get him in there, uh, that's all he did was just lay down right there. So I, I think he'll be all right. He ain't going nowhere. He's a pig. They don't they don't go too far. And this big old girl has uh, has claimed the uh, has claimed the goat house. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna put the goats back over there or if I'm gonna just let them sleep in that tree. We'll see. For now, everything's good. Everybody's happy. Healthy. Snacking away. All right, so why are we looking at the grass? Why are we looking at the grass? Why are we looking at the grass? I bought something today. Oh, but before I show you what I bought, oh, look at that. I've had that truck for about five years now. And it's completely rebuilt, but it's a six-cylinder, five-speed, two-wheel drive, and even the Amish people around here are completely disappointed in that truck when they try to hire you to do something. So, what did I buy today? I bought that. It's a 2006 uh, 4.7 liter overhead cam V8. Uh, it's got straight pipes, so it's loud as shit. It's got 33 10-50-20s on it that have about 4,000 miles worth of uh, love, per se, driving. Uh, it had an obnoxious light bar and a toolbox on the back side of it. I still got to rip one of the seat covers off of it and take the tint off the inside of the windows because it's peeling. Uh, the guy who I bought this from uh, is the guy that I... In a couple of videos back, we blew some shit up. He's had this truck. He bought this truck when he was actually 11 years old. He's had it for 10 years. Uh, he's the second owner. Um, it's got 114,000 miles on it. Uh, but look at it. This is the first time in my entire life I've actually had like a... Like I had a four-wheel drive Durango for a minute. It had the same motor in it, probably the same transfer case, same rear end because, well, the Chrysler Corporation is good at doing things like that. But uh, I bought a, a semi-lifted four-wheel drive truck uh, with V8. Uh, it's still got a semi-current inspection sticker. That's funny, my truck when you open the door well this is my truck my other truck when you open the door it shows you the odometer this one doesn't it's got 114,000 and some change Put dirt on the floor man i mean it's got some some whatever the fuck but like dude the dashboard is not broken uh, i need to clean the windshield on the inside and the out i need to get some windshield wiper blades for it because it's been sitting what the fuck was that oh that was the door hitting this uh air freshener 
I mean, this is not exactly my style, but it kind of fits the truck the same as... Yeah. Yeah. Not exactly my style. I don't have something to uh, buff that out with yet. Uh, the kit that I got it from, you can see the line where the uh, underwell flares go that uh, go with the truck. But yeah. Anyway, I just tried to uh, flag down my neighbor and uh, he didn't stop. But uh, four wheel drive. Two wheel drive. Four wheel drive. Two wheel drive. It's practically the same truck, but uh, there's a lot more to it. Uh, I gotta go get some stuff. I gotta change the oil in this thing because I don't really have any idea how long it's been sitting. Um, like it sat to the point where he went and got some gas and drove it out here and it, it stunk like brakes because the uh, the uh, seals and the, the uh, brake calipers do funny things when they sit for a while. Once you start pressing the brakes again, the stink goes away. But anyway, I bought a truck. We're going to need three vehicles out here. This truck's got an automatic, which means that um, if the Subaru breaks, my wife can drive this, and I can still drive that because she cannot drive a five-speed. But I got underneath this truck and looked at it before I bought it, and like all the little places on this truck where there should be like mud stuck to the edges of the suspension and things of the sort, that like the kid took good care of it got a couple little dings and dents and whatever else that go with it but uh i can't complain it does have pretty much straight pipes underneath of it though so it is super fucking loud which to be quite honest i'm okay with anyway i'm gonna go get some stuff and some hay and, and what have you tomorrow i'm probably actually gonna drive that truck Sadly, because uh, this truck doesn't have tags or insurance yet. I drove it around the block, which is all dirt roads. Like, there's a around the block out here. The uh, ratio of the uh, steering gear is different, but that's to be expected. Uh, this truck requires less input to the steering wheel to turn left and right than this one does. But I think it's a good looking truck, and it is super clean. I got a new truck, fuckers. See, now I know they say you're not supposed to feed your goats off the ground. This is a clean piece of dirt where no other animal is pooped. <clears throat> Until I can figure out how to arrange the uh, feed container so I can just dump over the top. This works. It's not a permanent solution, but it's it works. It's getting so big. Pigs are over there doing whatever it is they're doing. I almost feel like I just need to clean that out over there and put these two back in there. Now, you might ask, I had them separated, and the, the sheer noise from the both of them crying was just so much that I couldn't deal with it. It, it was... Uh, it was overwhelming, but uh, they're sleeping in that tree, um, which works for me. Pigs are sleeping in that little house, but at some point i got to get out here and uh, rearrange all this. And I'm going to separate the goats again from the pigs. I don't know. I'm learning as I'm going. Don't quote me on anything. What is that sound? And why are you looking at a piece of uh, tin roof? Sorry, right, I've heard something. This, folks... That's where I get my water. That black hose right there plugs into the side of the hill over there. Comes down here, gathers into this box. There's a pump down inside of that center block. Recently, uh, the guy that I bought my truck from and his buddy dug a dug like a wheelbarrow and a half of dirt. Um, out of the inside of that for me. I still got to clean this mess up. I'm getting there. That's actually why I'm over here. I was coming to look at this. Um, this is the garden area. Uh, everything is starting to flower. Well, everything is in full flower. I'm actually starting to get fruit. 
uh, this right down here, if you look very closely, I will walk and step right back in there. That is a carnival squash. And a carnival squash and a... I got frustrated one day because I had planted this legit in rows. Um, like you can, there's actually some peas over here I can show you. Like I planted the end of April, whenever it was I got this up, I put seeds in the ground. Nothing took. This is finally, from the first batch of seeds that I put in the ground, I'm starting to actually get some, some peas. Um... I don't know if I got a bad batch of seeds or because they weren't last year's seeds. I bought them in March. And uh, <clears throat> I dumped them all into a bucket or into a little bowl and just came out here and threw them around uh, just to see, like, like, I'm frustrated. Nothing grew, right? Well, now I got stuff growing outside the garden. I got stuff growing inside the garden. And this is so far because all these plants look the same. You can't tell, at least me and I've been growing plants for quite some time I can't tell the difference between a pumpkin plant a squash plant a zucchini plant the plant itself all looks the same you got to wait for it to uh, start pushing out fruit uh, in my experience to be able to tell and I'm sure that somebody who's watching this could look right at it and go oh that's such a thing I don't know but I'm thinking this is carnival squash over here and I've got pumpkins over there I don't even remember having pumpkin seeds but the thing about this being all I think this might end up actually being all carnival squash. Some of the small ones look like pumpkins, but they get a little bit bigger and they're going to change shape. Um, that's the same as the one that I got planted on the hillside over there. That came from a. Uh, uh, it came from a, a squash that I got at the grocery store. That they tell you that you can't grow things from, and that's the only thing, literally, I think that has uh, taken. Uh, I do still have a cayenne pepper right there that I need to dig up because there's one here. Uh, and these plants have overtaken it and it's dying. So before it overtakes that one, I need to dig that up. But uh, now these plants are really, they're really coming along. I just hope there's enough time left in the, the growing season for them to, uh, you know, get to a, excuse me, get to a size where they can uh, actually be, uh, I don't know, turn ripe, be consumable, things of the sort. But this stuff. I will never, I got a different use for this stuff for next year. Nobody does, I don't know, nobody puts anything around their garden here. I was just assuming that the deer were going to get in and eat everything. But like that little guy right there, I can't tell if that's a pumpkin or if it's carnival squash. But yeah, I got something different to do with this mesh next year. I'm going to build a, a little thing out of fence poles and put it together for beans and stuff to uh, be able to climb on. It'll work for that. Um, yeah, look at all that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Big old healthy plants. Well, there's another one down in there, even. We're going to be eating some squash this fall. It's Thursday morning, which I got to upload this video tonight. Uh, for people to watch tomorrow. I'm uh, winding my way through the two lane roads in the mountains of Tennessee, currently on the way over to my mother's house. That's right going back to my mother's. I've been there quite a few times, but I'm actually going there to do some work today. Uh, <coughs> and we'll see uh, how she feels about maybe showing off. Uh, her, her house currently is uh, has been pressure washed and uh, it's taped up because it's getting painted in the next uh, like day or so. So the outside of it's going to be kind of a wreck. Um, I got to build her a uh, water containment system similar to mine, but with one jug instead of two, or excuse me, three. Um, one jug. So, I'll catch up with you guys, uh, and you might wonder why I'm driving my old truck. Because this truck gets 20 miles of the gallon. I burned up $25 worth of gas going to my mother's house and back in that thing the other night. Uh, that truck gets like eight. So, I'm going to be driving this one unless I have to be driving that other one. I kind of want to keep it that way. I don't want to beat it up. I want to keep it clean. Um, you know, this truck I'm going to use for hauling hay and animals and whatever else. So, yeah thank my brother for this rad hat that I'm wearing. Um, shout out to uh, Victor Hamburger Head, wherever the hell he's at on the internet these days. Um, I think that's, I think that's it. Oh, and that truck doesn't even have to have plates or insurance on it yet anyway. The wife's going after uh, school today to get uh, tags for that truck. 
because she literally works walking distance from motor vehicles. Um, so rather than I'm going 20 miles this way and she's got to go 20 miles that way. So rather than, anyway, I'll catch up with you uh, when I get to my mother's house. God has given us eternal life. There is the divine inspired word of God. And it is settled in heaven. Psalm 119, verse 89. Forever, Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. All right, so... It's been a long time since I've been inside of uh, my mother's place with the camera. She finally gave me the uh, okay. I did this today because um, she bought this rack for this same little washer and dryer that uh, that we have, and it ended up not being right because they were supposed to be stackable. So my wife actually pulled this piece of wood out of a dumpster in Charleston uh, like six months ago, and uh, I was able to cut it, fit it, and then I water sealed it uh, just now today. Excuse the mess. All that stuff was actually hanging over there, but if you can remember what this place used to look like, She's, uh, she's made quite a bit of progress in here. Uh, let me back up because this is going to take a wide shot. The ladies in here are probably going to end up liking this. She's got quite a uh, she's got a purse like collection. She's uh, painted the floors, got some carpets, got this all up and going. You remember what this place used to look like she's been uh, hard at work in here and she finally got around to unpacking that all of that goes inside of there <laughs> uh, yeah it's come a long ways in here since uh, I was in here uh, vacuuming spiders throwing away furniture uh, um, yeah uh, we're not going down the road down the uh, hallway to the bedroom because well you know uh, I forgot she's got that high heel chair I actually found that for her at the Goodwill once upon a time. Anyway, let me uh, take you outside and show you uh, what else I've done over here today. In addition to uh, I cut and sealed that, let me show you what else I've done today here all right so coming out the uh, she doesn't want to be on camera coming out here here's her little her little patio garden that she's got going on I don't think this tomato is ever gonna do anything this late in the year but yeah she's trying all right got my tools here this little side yard here I still am gonna run a weed eater in here and then I'm gonna spray some weed killer we're getting a uh, she ordered an above ground planter that's going to go in the middle here and then I'm actually going to take gravel from my house and put it in here but uh, I'm going to run the weed eater first yeah don't mind all the paint <clears throat> uh, but anyway I'll take you over here and show you this uh, it's not yet complete I still got to straighten it out but the, the stuff that I got for the spigot on the bottom didn't work but it's the same idea as mine it's just one jug I got to uh, straighten it up a little bit and we got to go get a different fitting um, so I, I built that out of all scrap that was in the barn. I'll take you in here. It has made quite a bit of progress in the barn. It, uh, things are organized, sort of. I gave her a lawnmower today because uh, the preacher man, Bill Angel, uh, was kind enough to uh, stop by the other day and have a good conversation with me. And uh, he actually ended up giving me a lawnmower, so now I have that one to give to my mother. I got that light plugged in today, but yeah, a lot less trash in here. Burn barrel, you know, it's coming along. So it's currently another 90 degree day. <clears throat> 90 degrees in Virginia, it's it's pretty warm. I got an eyebrow over here, I need to do something with it. Like, I don't, I don't understand how that works. Like, I look at myself in the mirror two or three times a day, and then randomly there's just a three inch eyebrow that sticks out. Glories of getting old. All this gray and a beard. You could take a shower and shave. Um, I fed those goats and the pigs twice today. And she's crying because she's hungry, I'm sure. The uh, folks that I got them from, um, the, uh, the wife there uh, said that her husband had spoiled that goat. And I can tell that that goat was spoiled. 
She's a sweetheart of an animal, though. I can understand why he spoiled her. And I tried, too. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up because i got to put this, uh, i got to edit it together and uh, get it going uh, onto the Internet. So, thank you for watching. Get out there, get something done in your yard, maybe. Uh, I mean, especially if you live in an area that's back on lockdown because uh, the world has lost its mind. Um, what better to do than go work in your yard? I mean, I don't know. Check it out. Hit the thumbs up. Or, ooh, people still hit the thumbs down button. Can't imagine why. How miserable of an individual you'd have to be to... Like three years after, four years, whatever it's been, after I had an incident on the internet with somebody to still come to my channel and purposely thumbs down the videos. <clears throat> At least you're still watching. <laughs> oh, anyway, check back next week, see where I'm at. Um, trying to think what I have going forward on my agenda other than cutting down trees, which is makes for terrible content. I'm sure I'll get into something. Peace out. Fuckers. <laughs>